everybody, Spoonful for you, back catch you again with a brand new video, a review actually, and yes, this is a very, very late review of Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 3. Now, originally, I was going to make this review earlier in the week, but I had to think about this episode, okay, and this episode was just plain weird in my opinion, and Guys, whatever you say, this was a bad episode. I think many, many shows, the, every show has a bad episode sometimes. And I've defended Fear the Walking Dead a lot when people put it down. And I say, you know, it's not that bad. It's actually a pretty decent show. Um, unfortunately, this is not a good episode. It's a bad episode. It's a very strange one as well. We see the group kind of fit in. Um... Starts out alright, but then gets weird from then. We get to see the group fit in in this area, uh, the Brokeshaw, Brokeshaw Ranch. Um, we get to see a little bit more of Jeremiah Otto. Very confusing character, I don't know why they wrote him like this. Um, and they say his past mimics Madison's past, but he's a total jerk. Um, and Madison, I don't think, was a jerk like that. Um... So that really makes no sense at all. Um, but then we get to see the characters interact. I, I really enjoyed the scene with um, Troy kind of sleeping in the bed, even though it was kind of stupid. It was still a alright scene where Madison says, stay away from my family, and then the part when his brother tells him to stay away. Other than that, it's about the characters trying to get into this you know, group. And the, the worst scene, in my personal opinion, the worst scenes has to be the, um, the scenes where um, Alicia f fits in with this, this, this kid group. It makes no sense. It is very, very bad. Poorly written. That scene is really stupid. Where she does drugs. I hate drugs. That scene made me cringe so hard. It just felt out of place. Like, maybe it could have worked if they had it down the line. Like, maybe they were a villain group, but... Alicia just took the drug, like, super fast. Like, she just smoked it really fast and didn't even hesitate. I was like, okay. Very, very stupid, and I don't think it was time for Alicia's character to do that, even though I think deep down she's a wild person and everyone else did not expect that. Um, but she is deep down wild, and that would be a cool, interesting character, de character development if they develop her character like that, if we get to see her kind of become a villain. That will be interesting. Um, she kind of, in season one, if you guys don't remember, she kind of made, she kind of made Chris, uh, wild, the part where she drank that alcohol, and then they destroy that whole house. You could tell, you could see her little wild side there. She's not the pretty, innocent girl that everyone thought she was. And, but I just thought the drugs, the, the drug scene was very, very out of place and poorly written. Um, I don't know. I did not like it. The music was really cringeworthy. I did not enjoy that scene. So then, of course, we get Nick, you know, trying to fit in with Troy, um, and the worst scene happens in this episode. Troy and Nick go boar hunting. Feels very out of place, very rushed. This whole scene feels super rushed. Um, when I was watching it, I did not feel any tension. It just felt out of place, like it did not need to exist. Um... While they're boar hunting, Troy is going, hiding away from the group, and Nick is walking by. Um, no, 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 Troy is walking by, Nick is hiding in the bushes, and because Troy's trying to sneak away and try to kill them. Um, and then all of a sudden, Nick tackles Troy, and I was like, okay, this is, this is good. He points his gun at Troy, and I was like, oh no. We saw in the trailer that Nick shoots, but thank God, Nick shoots the ground, okay? Boom, that's fine. Perfect scene. Then... It's really out of place. They tackle each other, and they start laughing. And then Troy's like, I think we can become very good friends. Now, in my opinion, it might be because, you know, Nick is tired of Troy, you know, being like this. And, um, you know, they're laughing like that because they're sick of... It just makes no really sense. It's really poorly written. Maybe Troy laughed because he never did that with his brother. He never wrestled with his brother, and they never he never had a bond with his brother like that. Uh, it's really stupid because Nick just aimed a gun at him, so it makes no sense. Um, uh, and then Nick's laughing, too. That music, oh my god. That music, man, is cringeworthy at the scene. Like, 
what happened? What was going on in that one part in the episode? I think we can become friends. What does that even mean? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Moving on to Madison and um, Jeremiah Otto. Madison is really getting on my nerves. Um, in the last couple episodes, I thought, you know, she's fine. You know, she, I don't know why she gets all the hate, but in this episode, I know why she gets all the hate. She, sh she sh uh, shares a cigarette with Jeremiah Otto. Now, I hate how they're trying to show that cigarettes are good for you in these shows. And in The Walking Dead, Daryl always smokes a cigarette and it makes the girls pass out. Oh, Daryl. Cigarettes are bad for you. Stop promoting cigarettes in your shows. Um, the, sh the cigarette, in my opinion, is a theory. It kind of shows the drugs, the whole drug thing, in my opinion, shows how far people have fallen, in my opinion. Um, it just shows how weak they are. When Jeremiah smokes the cigarette, he's similar to Madison. They're both depressed people, in my opinion, and they've both done unspeakable things, I think. And that's why they did it. But it just felt out of place watching the lead of the show smoke a cigarette like that and just be so cold. Um, we could be following a group of villains, um, but I don't know. Oh yeah, moving on to Strand. I really enjoyed Strand's storyline in this episode, him kind of meeting this guy. The only redeeming quality in this episode, Strand going on his own adventure. Even though it was a kind of a little bit goofy, um, kind of like season 2 episode 4 where he meets Thomas, it still was very interesting. And I enjoy the scene where that guy gets devoured by the zombies when he gets thrown off the thing. Very cool scene. And of course, um, you know, Madison discovering Jeremiah Otto, his um, commercial, I think that was really well done when she was discovering it. Unfortunately, the whole episode could not really sustain that part. It just dragged on and we didn't really see anything after that. Why was Jeremiah, why was Jeremiah cussing like that? Why was he being so mean to that woman? Yeah, the woman was smoking and, you know, drinking and she was a drunk. That That's what they say, she was a drunk, but... You don't talk to a woman like that. He he sounded like the villain, not her. And I don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, redeeming quality in this episode. Spoiler alert. Daniel Salazar returns to the show. Finally. Probably my favorite character now. Travis used to be my favorite. Dead. Daniel Salazar returned to the show. Now, how do I... How do I... Um, what do I say about this? I am so pumped. He is one of my favorite... He is my favorite character now. He was my season one and two favorite character. And when they supposedly killed him off in season two, I was very disappointed because I thought they could do so much more. And they are. They brought him back. Oh my gosh. Is he awesome. This is the best character of Fear the Walking Dead. The only redeeming quality. I don't want to see Madison, which is really sad. I don't want to see her. Next episode is Daniel Salazar's episode. We get to see him what he went through, and I'm very excited. I hope it's gonna be good. This episode, on the other hand, was not a good episode. This was a bad episode. This was this was kind of the the, the, the still of Fear the Walking Dead. You know, the, you remember still in The Walking Dead season four? It's that, epi it's kind of like that episode. That's how bad it is. Nothing really happened. I enjoyed Troy's brother, though. I think he's a really cool character. I forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Jake, Jake, sorry. Jake is a really, really cool character in my opinion. I'm starting to really like Jake. I hope they don't kill him off. Um, and I hope Madison can redeem her qualities. She's becoming very cold and dark. I hope she'll become light again, you know? I don't know. But Daniel Salazar returning was the coolest thing in the whole episode. Watch that episode to see Daniel Salazar's return. Or look it up on AMC. But this was a bad episode. The writing felt off. Many, many rushed scenes. Um, very fast you know, the, just the scenes are rushed. The part when they go into the cellar, when they're doing all those drugs, it could have built up to, they could have made it a little bit better. But they, Alicia just took the drugs really fast. Now, I could be, um, you know, completely wrong about this episode in the future. If this episode set up a lot of character development with, with these kids and Alicia, then this was a great episode. If it does not go anywhere, this is, this is a bad episode. Um, I do think deep down Alicia is a wild person. Deep down, she's not that innocent girl who d makes good grades. And I think that's very interesting in my opinion because we, we always saw her become be innocent. And we always we saw Nick become the bad guy, you know. 
the druggie, and she was not a druggie until this episode. We saw her get, you know, she was on drugs. Um, and in the first, in season one, you saw her drink alcohol and bust up that house. She is going off the deep end, and um, it was very strange. I don't know if I liked it. I don't know if I like what they're doing with Alicia, but we have to see, guys. I rate this episode a C minus. Not a very good episode, in my opinion. I'm probably not going to see it again. I've been defending Fear the Walking Dead a long time because I thought, you know, every episode, even though some other people don't like it, I, I liked it. I thought other episodes were good, in my opinion. They had something, redeeming qualities to them. I don't know what it was. It was just something. Uniqueness, I guess. Um, this episode had no redeeming qualities, except Jeremiah Otto was kind of interesting, but... They could have done so much more. It just felt like, you know, they're holding it back because we have so many more episodes in the in the season. And I just, I did not like episode three at all, guys. I'm going to give it a C-. minus. What do you guys think of Fear the Walking Dead season three, episode three? I'm not going to, I'm not done with the show. I got to keep making reviews. The next episode, in my opinion, is going to be awesome. It looks really, really fun, really, really amazing, and I can't wait to see it. I hope... That is going to be good. Dan Salazar is my favorite character uh, in the show. And then probably Victor Strand. I really like Strand as well. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. C minus. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. What is your uh, opinion on this episode? What is it? Leave a like down below. Comment down below. Ask me away. This was a very bad episode in my opinion. Very poor. Um, moving on. Bye, everyone. Wait. Wrong way. Bye, everyone.